Hey everyone, today video will be showing you how you can actually upload any uh, file type, uh, any data file type to Firebase storage. So you can see here currently uh, my storage is empty, I don't have anything. Um, but if I go here, for example, I, I created a custom action that is actually uploading uh, any type of any file type. So if you click this button, uh, in my case over here, uh, probably you can see it that it wants only txt files. So if I click this file and then it's uploaded the txt file. Now it says uploading, now it's uploaded. If I go back here, I have to refresh, of course. It's not dynamically updated, not, not real time updated like the database. You have to refresh it. Then when I refresh, uh, uh, this was actually not working. This is a good reminder. Uh, it's a good uh, starting of the video to just remind you that the only way you can upload any file uh, is to log in first. So I logged in first with this demo uh, account and now you can see the logout button and now I can actually upload files. So let's try this again upload a demo, uploading file, and now you can see that the file is uploaded. So if I go back over here, refresh, and now <clears throat> you should be able to see the file. Now it's in users, and then this is the user UID, and then this is uploads, and then this is the file that has been just uploaded. You can see that the time that has been up, uh, uploaded. Uh, so uh, very important uh, just to let you know that this can be possible after the user have been logged in or registered. So you need an authentication, authentication user in order to do this. If you don't have it, uh, it will not work. Um, so how I did it, if we go back, if we go back here, um, <clears throat> this is my login page. So this is very simple login page uh, with the email and the password. And then you click all login. When you click login, you are redirected to this page when it says hello world. And then you have the logout button. And this is the button to redirect you to the upload file. So when you go to the upload file, this is the page that is loaded. And when you click this button over here, this button is only uh, firing on top and it's firing uh, uploaded any file type. So when you go to the custom code uh, and click over here, uh, this is the code that I actually uh, wrote and the code will be available for you uh, to copy and paste uh, from the description of this video. Uh, so the first things first, very important is that ex uh, exclude from compilation. You need to click this in order for this code to work. And then we also need to include the build con content. And then the name of uh, the custom action, my name, it's uh, upload any file type and uh, the default one, if you don't specify any, will be PDF. And then this is the upload file URL, which we actually don't use. So in reality, uh, we can actually delete this one because as I said, we're not using it. Uh, when you when you make uh, <clears throat> when you make changes, to a file and the file it's uh, execute, uh, excluded from compilation, you don't need to compile. So this is a plus sign when you do this. Uh, this is a plus uh, thing when you when you do this, but let's uh, continue with the code. So here is the most important part. It says allot uh, extensions, and this is the extension that we are allowed. And the one in the station, the extension actually it's coming from file type uh and this is uh coming from 
here. So, and then we have, if it's uploading, uh, it says uploading file, you can change this uh, to wherever you want to. And here uh, we are actually taking one the once the file is uploaded, we're taking the upload or URL. <clears throat> so if we actually need to use this URL in our application, uh, we can store it. We are storing it actually in the file path. So we need to create a local state, uh, which is called file path. And this would be a simple string. So you can see over here, it's file path. It's a simple string. And this will be stored uh, in this local state variable. So we can use it uh, in our application after that, if we want. And then when, once the file is uh, uploaded, it just says successful. And if there is something wrong with the file, it says fail to upload file. So what if let's, that was txt file. So let's try, uh, this is the file type. Now it's txt. Let's try with zip, for example. So let's try, we have to change this to zip, of course. And then we have to instant reload. now it is instant reloaded uh, and now look when i click this button upload file and now you can see it says zip files only so when i click the download it's a simple zip file that i download from internet select it it's uploading the file and then it says success so when i go back here and when i go to upload i can just refresh this page once again this is not refreshing in real time you have to click the f5 button in order to refresh it <clears throat> and now you can see the zip file has been just uploaded and of course you can type here when you click the button uh, you can type any uh, file format it needs to be a file format so PDF, there's or you can already upload PDF, uh, but you can upload any file type like IA, uh, which is uh, Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, uh, or or any file type. Um, so PHP, you can upload also files like PHP or Dart files, code files. So yeah, in reality, you can upload anything that you want to, any file extension so that was it uh thank you very much for watching and probably we we'll see you in next time thanks